Hello and welcome to another update video. Today we want to cover SEI. Um, it is obviously at the moment in running mode and I shared a few of my ideas with gold members already a few days ago, last few weeks actually. Um, and the pullbacks so far have only been shallow. So I want to talk to you about the different possibilities on this chart. It's obviously a very short chart history. Really, we can really only count the move up of the October lows gives us really only a couple of months and not a reliable chart. Okay, so whatever I'm saying here, you need to consider that in light of, um, well, my statement in which I say that this is not a reliable chart, just because from an from a from a from any technical analysis point of view, you just don't have the history. Okay, so you don't have enough data to really use something to project something out with a high likelihood, but it definitely gives us a direction it definitely gives us key support levels for risk management okay we want to talk about that so first of all this in initial run-up since the october lows um this I'm, I'm not entirely sure if this gives me a full five wave move or not um so this could be a five wave move or a three wave move so that's the thing. I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that. Could be a leading diagonal in a, in a five wave move in wave one. So if this this is the more bullish count, the white one. Okay, so um, this could be a wave one in a leading diagonal. Then this wave two pullback here bottomed um, around 21 cents, 21 and a half. I haven't covered it at the time. Um, only really covered it recently. I started to cover it because a lot of people requested it. And then... Um, in an let's say more bearish scenario even though that would also be bullish but it, it's bigger picture yeah not as bullish it's the yellow count in which we have here an a wave and a b wave pullback does it matter in the short term not so much it will matter when we then uh, get towards the end of this third wave or c wave in yellow that already gives us um, potential targets that we can put onto the charts. So the very first level, if we're dealing with the yellow count, and I have to say, I mean, probably 90% of altcoins usually form ABC structures. They never really finish five waves in their first major run-up. So that means we have to just be realistic about it. And let me just add that to the chart. Um, and the first major target range that I'd like to put onto the chart is here. It's between 73 cents and $1.55. That should cover both. Um, well, that, sh that should cover the C wave, actually. That should cover the C wave. But the problem is, and I have to say that this is only an initial orientation, because now we need to deal with the microstructure. If the microstructure is as extended as it shows at the moment, uh, we will be way be way beyond that. This can only be a first orientation, seventy three cents to one dollar fifty five. And now let's let me explain that further. So first of all, I think it's important to understand that it doesn't matter at the moment in the short term if we're dealing with the yellow count or the white one. Okay, it's very important uh, to understand. The problem I have is initially I thought, look, we've got three waves up here. This could be a four and this could be a five, but it's getting too long for a wave five. So that's why I have to consider that this one, two or a B is already over and we've started either the C wave or the third wave. Hope, hope that makes sense. Ask, ask if you don't understand that. But initially I thought, all right, wave one may, may be finished here. Okay. But then we never got that pullback. So that for me in light with the, of the latest price data has to be the assumption. So if I then zoom in a little bit, and this is where really the challenge the challenge starts. This is where the challenge starts. So difficult. This is where we have a lot of uncertainty right now. But I give you a proposal of how to deal with that. Because it is entirely possible that this here is another 1-2 setup. And we just keep extending higher, higher, higher in the third wave. In this scenario, the invalidation point is here. So you have a very, very clear level to watch, a very clear level, a very clear stop at 33.4 cents, basically. That is going to be the invalidation point for the assumption that the third wave is unfolding already. Um, well, 
actually not um, that the third of a third wave is already unfolding. You know? So, or third of a C wave. Basically, if we assume the C wave has started, then yeah, you know, this could be a wave one. Okay, this could be the wave two. And then this would be now the third wave of the C wave. So that's one scenario when we look at the shorter time frame. The invalidation point again is clearly defined and below that level, well, well, what would happen then? Well, that's going to be a bit tricky. We could say that, um, for example, this was a one and this is the two. But first of all, let's stick to what we're dealing here with. So if the assumption is a one, two setup already finished and this is the third wave, then we need to have a micro support level as well. I mean, we've got the invalidation point, but what's the micro support? The micro support is typically the 50% retracement level of a third wave, because in any pullback, we don't want it to break below the 50% FIB level. So that gives you an additional support level to watch and um, yeah, while, while the price climbs higher. And that's at 46.1 cents. So that means, in other words, as soon as the price breaks below 46.1 cents, it's a first warning that something different might be going on. The question is then, okay, what might that different scenario be? Okay, so that would m most likely mean that in, in my initial interpretation, it would probably be that, okay, all of this is a wave one, then we do the two and we do something like that. Let me change the color. So that all of this is another wave one. Yeah? Um, this is at the moment still possible and realistic. Also in line with FIP extensions. Let me check that. Even though that's also getting very extended now. I don't even, I don't actually believe that. That would be my alternative. Um, primary scenario would be that the, the third is unfolding already. Okay. But this could be another one, two setup. Okay. So, but until we have a top, until we break below 46.1 cent, um, it doesn't make sense to, to put a, you know, to put, let's say, a, a stop for that, you could say, onto the, um, onto the chart or something, right? So, uh, or a support, an additional support level, it would, would make it quite messy. So, yeah, it's a bit difficult to, a bit difficult to say um, where exactly we are here in the microstructure, but, you know, the chart doesn't give us that precision at the moment, but we have some very clear levels to watch. We've got the 46.1 cent level. Below that level, for me, as support level, the 33.5 cent level will become important. Below that level, it's this support range. And you could just say, you know, if you have FOMO, for example, a very simple way of handling this is to say, okay, I haven't got a position, I want one. And you say, okay, how much do I want to invest in SEI? And you, you have, I don't know, let's just take $500, whatever. It will be different for everybody. And then you just say, okay, so my main support level, and that's the long-term support, is down there at 14.2 cents. So I will split that position into chunks and say, okay, I'll buy just a little bit now, pocket money. And as it goes lower, I'll buy a little more, buy a little more, buy a little more. Um, that's the most intelligent way to deal with this, in my opinion, the most relaxed way as well. Um, if you do anything out of emotions, it's not good. Um, if you're skilled, obviously you'll trade the momentum anyway, probably. But in terms of just a relaxed way of getting a position and sizing it up as the price drops, uh, intelligent position sizing, not risking too much, because below 14.2 cents, this is likely going to fail. I'm not saying it's going down that much and you will probably not, not get a full position, but this is a way to handle this. I'm just proposing a reasonable way of handling this um, if you have FOMO. But yeah, that's sort of my, I mean, you could also, you know, if you would just want to trade this, but I don't have a clear setup there, just giving you the orange box as support, you know, but that's just something else to do. But then you would have to have a stop below that level. Um, different ways of, of playing this. I just can highlight to you the relevant levels. And I think very soon we should know, I mean, this is forming something like an ascending wedge pattern. But it could also just be coiling up for another complete breakout escalation to the upside. So again, I just want to mention the levels. Be aware that there isn't much that's predictive about this due to the chart history. But obviously, we're moving in a in a channel. You know, momentum is up, 
Um, the levels are defined, the wave counts as well. We just need to be a little bit flexible due to the short chart history. So a lot of people ask for an SEI update. That's best I can do with Elliott Wave. But even if not just Elliott Wave, I mean, we talked about some structural support levels as well, okay? And the trend channel, um, much more, you, you can't do much more <laughs> at the moment. So the key will be to see um, if in the bull market it can actually form all five waves. And then, you know, again, further extensions are always possible. But once all five waves are filled, we'll see if in the com maybe even in the next bear market or next decent consolidation correction, a higher low can hold, which would then set it up for a more significant rally next. Yeah, that's my update about SEI. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.